Hey, what's up everyone? I wanted to make a video explaining the differences between 1911 slide barrel and stroke lengths and the lengths and styles of the associated components like guide rods, recoil springs, and spring plugs. This has confused me in the past. I think I have a better handle on it now. Figured I would take a crack at explaining it. I probably don't know all the little details, so if I miss something, please let me know in the comments. There will be a link in the description to some good info about this from the Chile site. This uh, discussion will be limited to government 5-inch, mid-length 4.6, and commander 4 and a quarter inch pistols. Let's get into it. There are two main types of guide rods, short and full length. The short ones may be called standard or GI style. Full length guide rods go to the end of the slide. Guide rod length, whether it's full length or short GI style, are specific to barrel and slide length. Full length guide rods for bull barrels need some way to capture the reverse plug and spring in the compressed position so the assembly can be removed from the back of the spring plug tunnel. These toolless guide rods are pretty sweet. I like these a lot. They have a lever that you push and a nub pops up and grabs the front of the reverse plug. Others may just have a cross pin hole uh, that you stick a small pin hex key or paper clip through to capture the reverse plug and spring. A two-piece guide rod may be used, uh, the front half on threads, then the rear shorter half can be removed once the slide is off and then the spring and the reverse plug can come out. I've seen these two-piece guide rods used with uh, bushing and bushingless barrels. I will also mention that the uh, Standard uh, guide rod diameters around 325. The passage and the spring plug will be around 330. If you see a quarter inch diameter guide rod, that is generally going to be for use with a flat wire recoil spring and not the standard round wire recoil spring typically found in 1911s. There are two main types of spring plugs standard and reverse. Standard plugs are for use with barrel bushings. They come out the front of the slide and they are retained by the barrel bushing. They protrude slightly out the front of the slide so they can be captured by the flange. Reverse plugs are for use with bushingless barrels, sometimes called bull barrels or heavy barrels. They come out the back of the spring plug tunnel like this. They have a collar that prevents them from going out the front. I've heard these referred to as collar reverse plugs or full shoulder reverse plugs. They generally sit flush with the front of the slide. The spring plug tunnel of the slide must be machined for this type with a counter bore. Standard length of this collar is about 375. Spring plugs for full length guide rods need a hole in the end of them for the guide rod to pass through. Generally, the spring plugs for these shorter guide rods have a solid end. There are less common shoulder reverse plugs. I've heard these called flange reverse plugs as well. They look like this, and as far as I know, these are used when converting from a bushing barrel to a bull barrel if you don't have the ability to counterbore the back of the spring plug tunnel. To maintain the same stroke, material must be removed from the back of the slide spring plug tunnel. The material removed should be the same thickness as this collar. Barrel bushings are specific to barrel length as well. This is a government bushing and it will have a longer skirt than a commander bushing. The commander bushing needs a shorter skirt. This gives it more clearance with the higher tilt angle of the shorter barrel. I don't know that I've ever seen a 4.6 inch mid-length bushing barrel pistol, but I would imagine you'd probably want to start with the government bushing and cut the skirt down from there if you ran into binding or barrel springing. Recoil spring lengths are specific to slide length. A government spring could be cut down to a mid-length or a commander spring but the spring rate is technically a function of the number of active coils. So for example, cutting a 16 pound government spring down to commander length may result in a slightly different effective spring rate than a 16 pound commander spring. Would this difference matter or be noticeable? Maybe not, but with how relatively cheap and available these springs are, I'm just inclined to buy the right one. Conventional wisdom when installing these springs is to orient the open end of the spring towards the muzzle that goes into the spring plug. 
recoil buffers, they go up against the face of the guide rod. When the slide reaches the rear of its travel, the spring plug tunnel smacks into this softer material rather than the metal flange of the guide rod. Are these necessary? No, I don't think so, but I run them. I hear a common argument against these is that they will eventually come apart and could jam the pistol up. That's not been my experience. I've ran these in multiple 1911s for thousands of rounds and never had one of them come apart. They're cheap. Replace them frequently if you're worried about that or don't run them, whatever. Anyways, if you run these, the stroke length will be reduced by the thickness of the buffer. The following lengths I give for barrels, slides, strokes, rail sections, etc., will all be approximate. There's probably some slight variation between manufacturers and there will be a tolerance around specifications. What I'm really trying to compare here is the stroke lengths relative to each other. Let's start with the classic five inch government length. The barrel is gonna be very close to five inches from the barrel hood to the muzzle. The government slide will be about 4.9 inches from the breech face to the muzzle. The barrel protrudes a little bit from the slide. I think this is so it's flush with the barrel bushing. I like to flush cut my bowl barrels for a cleaner look, like this, but a standard bowl barrel will generally be the same length as a bushing barrel and protrude from the slide a little bit. The spring tunnel is 1.7 inches long and a reverse plug will be 1.7 inches long. A standard spring plug doesn't need to be full length because it will be retained at the front by the barrel bushing. This one is one inch long from end to shoulder. The front rail section is about 1.24 inches long. Of course, that's a bit different here with them being joined. The stroke length of the government slide is around 2.14 inches. I am measuring this from the back of the slide spring plug tunnel to the front of the guide rod flange, which sits up against the guide rod seat in the frame. I'm using 100 thou as my guide rod flange thickness because this seems to be common. Mid-length barrels are 4.6 inches from hood to muzzle. This one's shorter because I flush cut it. The slide is around 4.52 inches from breech face to muzzle. The spring plug tunnel is 1.325 inches long, and so is the reverse plug. Since this atlas slide is cut down from a government slide, the stroke will be the same. This 4.6 inch Chile frame is government spec, meaning it has a 1.24 inch long front rail section. A full length dust cover for a 4.6 inch frame will be slightly shorter then a full length dust cover for a five inch frame, obviously, because it needs to be flush with the shorter slide. You could run a short dust cover frame with a 4.6 inch slide. Now, I'm not sure if the 4.6 inch uh, mid length is standardized. I would guess that a slide cut down from a five inch slide and a government spec frame are the norm. Let me know if you know. The commander barrel is 4.25 inches long and the slide is typically 4.15 inches from reach face to muzzle. A standard commander spring plug tunnel is 1.25 inches long, reverse plugs will be the same. The front rail section of the standard commander frame is about 90 thousandths shorter than the government frame. It's only 1.15 inches long. The rear rail section and spacing between the rail sections is the same. I think a standard commander stroke is about 1.9 inches. That would be about 240 thousandths shorter than a government stroke. This Atlas four and a quarter inch slide is cut down from a government slide. I've contacted both Atlas and Chile about this slide and its fitment to different frames. To the best of my knowledge, this slide is only to be fit to a government spec frame with the longer front rail section. Maybe since the slide is cut down from a government slide and it's advertised as having a full government stroke, it should be obvious that you would use a government frame. If it's on a commander frame, it will have a longer than government stroke. This wasn't clear to me at the time I purchased it. Maybe I'm the dumbass, I don't know, but I feel like one line of text in the product description would be very helpful in avoiding confusion. 
The slide is about 80 thousandths longer than a standard commander slide. It's about 4.230 from breech face to muzzle, and the spring plug tunnel is 1 and 30 thousandths long. The reverse plug is the same length, and this reverse plug is specific to this slide. This is why Atlas says to only order the reverse plug with their four and a quarter guide rod if it's for an Atlas pistol. This reverse plug would be too short for a standard commander slide that has a one and a quarter inch long spring plug tunnel. Why does this four and a quarter guide rod work with other commander pistols then? If I put it in this Chile commander spec frame, it comes right to the end of the dust cover. It's actually about 10 thou short. It's just hard to see. Add that 10 thou to the 80 thou longer slide and you get 90 thou. That is the difference in front rail dimension between a government and commander frame. It would be exactly flush with the front of the slide on a government frame. In a commander frame with a commander slide, it will be flush or a little bit short, but it'll work just fine. We need to consider spring length as well. With this slide at the rear of its travel and the spring plug tunnel up against the guide rod flange, all the coils of the spring now need to fit into the shorter spring plug. Here's a standard 12 pound commander spring from Wolf. This Atlas 12 pound four and a quarter spring is shorter. The Wolf spring has 22 active coils. The Atlas spring has 19 active coils. The wire diameters are the same. All of these coils can fit into this shorter spring plug at full compression. The coils of this standard commander spring close before the guide rod flange reaches the spring plug tunnel. This is a check you should do anytime you replace a recoil spring on a pistol, by the way. Hold the spring at full compression to make sure the coils don't close or bind before the slide reaches its rearward stop. You can see here with the Atlas spring, my guide rod flange is contacting my spring plug tunnel like it should. If you get one of these Atlas four and a quarter slides, it needs to go on a government frame. You could buy a short dust cover government frame or a long dust cover government frame. Once the lower barrel lugs are cut and the forward in battery position of the slides is established, you would then trim the dust cover back to be flush with the front of the slide. I would run Atlas four and a quarter guide rod, reverse plug and their shorter springs. I hope this video was informative or helpful to you in some way. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.